Fox News remembered America had a neighbor other than Mexico last week when host Tucker Carlson actually called for an invasion of Canada. I mean, why should we stand back and let our biggest trading partner, the country with which we share the longest border, why should we let it become Cuba? Like, why, why don't we liberate it? We're spending all this money to liberate Ukraine from the Russians. Why are we not sending an armed force north to liberate Canada from Trudeau? And I mean it. Tucker, whose name rhymes with what he is, <laughs> Tucker feels that we need to be liberated. And who better than the Americans to do that? I mean, look at their track record. Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq. You guys have been getting your asses kicked since World War II, a war you joined over two years after Canada did. You're like the guy who offers to help shovel the driveway the second snowblower gets turned off. <laughs> but Tucker is convinced we need to be saved. So I'm <laughs> completely in favor of a Bay of Pigs operation to liberate that country. For those who don't know, and by that I mean Tucker, the 1961 Bay of Pigs invasion of Cuba was a failure. The American-backed invaders surrendered in less than 24 hours. 114 people were killed and over 1,000 were taken prisoner. So yes, I too am completely in favor of a Bay of Pigs-style invasion of Canada, Tucker. <laughs> Try it, and we'll have a pig roast and you can be the guest of honor. <laughs> yeah. And before threatening to invade Canada, Tucker's last big tirade, was that M&Ms were no longer sexy enough for it. So the green M&M lost her sexy boots, the brown M&M her stiletto heels. The company added obese and distinctly frumpy lesbian M&Ms. Say what you want about Canada, Tucker, but at least we're not up here trying to bang Smarties. <laughs> this isn't even the first time he's turned on us. Canada is a sick society. Yes, we are sick, Tucker, but we have free health care. You might want to look into that because the people Americans have to worry the most about being shot by aren't Canadians. It's other Americans. You might want to look at liberating yourself. Canada has been down this road before in the War of 1812 when we burned down your White House. And I swear to God, you elect Trump one more time and we'll do it again. 